If you had asked me where I was going to go to college at the start of my senior year, WVU wouldn't have been my first guess. Living in Morgantown my entire life, I thought that I knew everything about WVU and what they had to offer without doing any sort of research. Because of this, during my application process, I focused most of my attention on reading about other schools and WVU was an afterthought. There's a lot of push for our in-state students to leave to be successful. Whether it was coming from my peers, comments from teachers glorifying other schools, or outside opinions associating our school with regional stereotypes, I had always felt that if I stayed, I'd be missing out on something. It took me a lot of relearning to figure out that that wasn't the case. I chose WVU for its professional opportunities in engineering and medicine and its persistent responsibility for the state of West Virginia and the people that live here. Thankfully, I knew a lot of people coming to WVU who were interested in the same things as me, engineering and medicine. I was able to talk with them and learn how WVU would work for me. The first way in which I had to change my thinking was that West Virginia was not an academically serious school. Now don't get me wrong, you get out what you put in in terms of academic success, but WVU has a lot to offer in terms of professional development and preparation for pre-professional school. This is one of the biggest reasons I chose WVU. As a pre-med student, WVU has a lot of opportunities for experiences, research, and connections within the field. With the entirety of the WVU medicine system, you can get involved and learn about any kind of medical specialty you want. I've been able to connect and chat with a radiologist and an anesthesiologist already. It's incredibly easy to get these opportunities here because the faculty want to help. They really do care about the students here and want to give them the chance to learn. WVU is also an R1 institution, meaning that we have a high amount of innovative research activity. With this distinction, we also receive more funding. In 2024, we received $275 million just for research. WVU has programs in place like RAP and SURE, which revolve around giving undergraduates the chance to get into research early. They are incredible programs that connect students that want to learn with people that want to teach them. I do research with Dr. Grabeau from the ER at Ruby Memorial Hospital. We are currently looking at heart rate variability and fresh tissue training. I was mainly involved in data analysis, so I got to learn how to use a heart rate variability analysis program, and I'm now working on learning the ins and outs of academic writing and how to present our findings. Growing up in Morgantown, I have always known that the community surrounding our university was special, but never understood why. So the next thing I had to relearn about WVU were the roots of our bond with the state. West Virginia University's sense of community is unlike anywhere else in the world. We have an entire state rallying behind us. They support us so that after we get our education, we can return the favor. We are a land grant institution, meaning that we have a unique responsibility to the state of West Virginia and its people. This responsibility is truly what sets our university apart from the rest and makes us so special. For example, right now, WVU is in the process of buying hospitals in other parts of the state to spread out our resources and provide access to quality health care for more West Virginians. I am extremely lucky to have grown up in Morgantown because of the access to everything that we have, but I have a lot of family in other parts of the state that are not as lucky. So WVU's mission of taking care of the state is close to my heart, as I'm sure it is for a lot of in-state students. Taking a closer look at the community within campus, it can be overwhelming. There are over 25,000 students and 250 buildings spread across just about 2,000 acres of land, and that's just on the Morgantown campus. While we are a large university, it's easy to find your niche. There are a wide range of clubs to join to go along with any interest you may have. I'm in the Society of Women Engineers, Biomedical Engineering Society, and the Appalachian Health Advocacy Alliance. This has helped me find and connect with other students with my same interests. I'm extremely grateful to have found the perfect corner of WVU for me, and it has really solidified my reasoning for staying in the first place. If you had asked me at the start of my senior year where I was going to college, WVU wouldn't have been my first guess. But after stepping foot on campus for the first day of classes, there is no other place I could imagine being. I was confident in my choice of schools, but being here, settling in, and finding my place, I couldn't be any surer that I made the right decision. You know what they say about country roads, they always take you home.